breakdowns or everywhere. I mean, we just didn't have anything. It was, um, you know, it was a schedule loss. That's how I felt. You know, when you could see guys, they just had no energy, no legs. Um, yeah, so not much tonight. Is that what? Is it one that you flushed? Is it one that you stole? Yeah, yeah. This, this is this is yeah. not, we're not gonna learn anything from this. Um, we just throw this away and, and go on to Memphis. That's how I felt. Like how long has Tobias been dealing with the, the illness? I don't know, Keith. Um, you know, he kind of didn't want to say anything, so I found out in the, in the middle of the game. So uh, right when I found out, I took him out and told him to go back. We weren't gonna win the game. Why have him out on the floor? Even when you know that. Sense that the guys don't have their legs. Yeah, sometimes you still can get them. You know, sometimes you can see it early. We were dead. We were flat. Um, and sometimes you get through the game and you can get into it. There was no signs of that coming tonight. You can just see it uh, offensively and defensively. I mean, if you 73% in the first half, um, you're never going to win that game. So. Still well, we got a lot of guys. You just, you know, we just you start changing rotations. You start throwing different people in. Each guy you threw in was as bad as the other guy. You know, um, you know, even the shots in the second half. Like we we cut it, got a chance to cut it to twenty. We missed a layup. Uh, George missed his wide open shots. You know, it was just one of those games. And, and my thought, literally from the middle of the third, is. How can I get guys rest and guys who haven't played like Joel, let's get them some more minutes in a row. Um, so I literally was using the game for that, for the rest of the game. What do you think the cause of the reason why they were playing? We've played a lot of games, you know, um, flying all the way home from Orlando for one game. But give them credit. Like, we have beaten them four times in a row. We, we swept them last year, right? Um, they have pride. And you could feel them coming into the game uh, I, I told our guys before the game, it's going to be a hard game. All right. I said, they're fresh. Uh, they're going to attack you. They do not want to lose to you again. And if you don't have a great mental mindset tonight, it's going to be a tough game. Um, that's what it was. So you, you know this is about the game that you would like to flush, but what's the one thing that disappointed you the most? I'm nothing. I, yeah, nothing. I mean, listen, it's, the list is too long, uh, but there may be reasons for that. I, this is one I want to go watch the tape and see if there's anything we could have done different. You talk about wanting to turn the page to Memphis quickly. Is it easier to turn the page when it's like an exciting young team that you don't see that often last year, the last time you guys played? No, it should be easy anyway, you know, especially after a loss. We, we want to be that team. We lose a game. We want to come in the next night and be ready to play. So uh, it didn't. It wouldn't matter if we were playing Memphis or another team. Um, we didn't perform well tonight, um, all of us, me, the, the players. And so next game, we have to have the mindset, let's perform well. A couple games ago, you talked about Morgan. how much easier it is to coach a team that's more mature like this one, where yeah. the younger, the youngest is Tyrese, obviously, but the younger guys are all kind of mature. Is yeah. it easier for a, a more mature team to turn the page quicker? Yeah, I don't think guys get stuck on these. I, uh, I don't even think a young team does. Like, you lose. This is part of competition. Um, tonight, uh, we showed up and didn't have it. Um, what are you going to do? You, you have to, so you have no choice. Now, what impresses you the most about Memphis? About Memphis? Yeah. Well, they have a pretty good guard. Um, but they're just deep. They're long. They play hard. They, they got a lot of grit, you know. They were, they're an athletic version of the grit and grime team. You know, uh, that's what they're, they're same greediness, but now they're athletic as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.